This is Twit. Let's get lick it up. So I have been building up a set of notes to walk you through the whiskey creation mm, process mm, mm. and then also introduce you to whis whiskeys that I think are profound in that process. Okay. So we, sh uh, we should start at the beginning and that's specifically with barley, All right? Barley is the grain used to make beer and to make Scottish whiskey. Uh, other whiskeys other elsewhere in the world often use a blend of grains uh, with bourbon. It's typically corn, barley, and, and uh, rye. Uh, the, the Irish will do whatever they want. Uh, <laughs> As usual. <laughs> it's, it's wild what, what you can find on a mash bill for an Irish whiskey. Uh, but in, 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 look, there's a lot. The, barley is not that popular a grain anymore. It's one of the ancient grains, right, originally found in the Fertile Crescent. Uh, is uh, part of the branches of all of the grains. It was one of the earliest to to, to break off, um, but it uh, it it was didn't respond as well to um, to to baking, like barley based oh. breads. Right, don't, uh, right. Don't taste very good. No, they're very hard um, and yucky. Yeah, yeah. Where, where wheat did respond well, and so then and then when you get into the engineering of of food. Um, during the with the the Green Revolution, wheat also adopted to far more areas, and so now wheat is grown everywhere. So the yield on barley is relatively low. Um, it is a relatively expensive grain to grow, but for certain products, specifically beer and Scottish whiskey, it does very well. And so there's about over five thousand strains of of barley in the world, but only ten are approved for Scottish whiskey. Mm. Uh, it's specifically a kind of uh, barley called uh, Hardium Dishkon, and it is what's called a two-row barley. So there are also six-row barleys, uh, and that's basically how the seed structure goes together. Six-row barley is uh, commonly grown in North America, and most American uh, beers are done with six-row barley uh, as the, uh, the seed crop. The two-row, um, they get very precise on, on the kind, on the, good barley it, it, this comes down to it matter the, this whole idea of terroir which is a french term really they typically apply to wine but terroir for barley matters a lot as well they look in in whiskey making for very high starch counts and really low nitrogen content so this is a bit to do about fertilizer a bit on growing areas and so typically only the sandy soils of the eastern part of the uk grow barley particularly well which is an important problem because Whiskey has gotten very popular. And so the UK cannot grow enough barley for the demand uh, that exists in the business. And so the vast majority of barley today is, is well, some is still grown in the UK. It's grown elsewhere. But there's only a few companies that do all of the barley works for the distilleries. And so barley works being grow the barley, malt the barley, which is sprouted to turn it into sugar, dry it and then grind it to grist. Uh, and so most distilleries just buy uh, the finished grist ready to go into the wash, and we'll talk about that stuff on another show. But there are a few exceptions here and there, and that's today's whiskey. Today's whiskey is the Macallan Estate. Now, Macallan is a very popular space side whiskey. I've drank plenty of them over the years. I have had an opportunity to taste this particular one at one of my very favorite whiskey bars in the whole world, the Quaish at the Craigalachi in the space side. Um, it is a fairly expensive whiskey, runs about 300 US dollars. Uh, and it, but the distinct part about it is that it is grown from barley, literally from the Macallan estate. Hmm. So the Macallan does have a bit of growing grain and they use it to uh, they actually send it off to a grister, so someone who actually does the malting and the gristing and so for them, but uh, then they distill it. I found it tastes very much like Macallan 18 for about twice the price. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so uh, it's a deal. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> so, but it really begs the question: Why? Why would you do this? And yeah. now we get into sort of the reality about an awful lot of whiskey is that. Uh, when you, you when you have a whiskey of fiction out, you're trying to get them something special. Yeah, and something One of special a kind. would be yeah. This is a whiskey that's literally from barley from the Macallan Estate, and that resonates with some folks. Sure, and you pay a substantial premium to make that true. 
Yeah. It's 85 uh, proof also, which, you know. Yeah, it's about, that means it's been cut with water, right? Because okay. it didn't come out of the barrel at that time. Right. I only drink barrel strength from now on, cask strength, because of you. Because uh, of you. Well, you know, I'm a bad influence in many different ways. But uh, <laughs> to me, and it, it, I'm, if I as I go through this set of stories, I'm going to always bring you to a whiskey that is an exception to the particular stage. So there are different ways to do malting, and I think there's a few of them that do very cool ways of malting. There's a few different wash techniques, and there's, I think there's some cool ways to do that. Uh, and so on. So if you like this, I'll, I can keep going into this kind of space. It's just I'm very interested. In I, yeah, I encourage our uh, listeners to uh, write and email and let us know. But I think it's a fascinating subject. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, the, it's crazy to think there's 5,000 different kinds of barley now, mostly because humans have messed with it. And, but only a handful <laughs> wow. of them are yeah, but, ever used for this. I mean, right? there are that many different kinds of labradoodles now, too. So. <laughs> yeah. You know. Once upon a time, there was only a wolf. Every other kind <laughs> exactly. of dog you've seen, yep. people made, right? <laughs> yeah. 30,000 years of messing with canine genes. So yeah. your recommendation would be to try the Macallan 18 instead of this. But if, yeah, if you want a really nice sherried space side, mm, sounds good. For, for about $200 US, you could buy yourself Macallan 18 okay. and wow yourself. Okay. Uh, yeah. Again, right. a lot of money for a whiskey. If you want to, that, that's the kind of, that's a first drink whiskey. Yeah. Try that. If you're going to have whiskey that do that, the first drink, and then, then you, you can, can step down. Can <laughs> drink some Everclear sure. and you'll be fine. Yeah. And eventually, it's usually like, when people start drinking, that's not when they make the best decisions. No. But you're right. That's the, the right way to do it. Start with a good whiskey, not end with a good yeah. whiskey. Yeah. No, I, I, I just was a, a weekend away with a group of tech uh, friends and one of them produced a 24 year old Glenn Morangi from 1998. Oh. And, uh, we polished off that bottle in two days. Yeah. And yeah. that is abuse of a very good yeah. whiskey. That's the first sherried whiskey I ever had was Glenn Morangi. And I was impressed. Glen Morangi, yeah. Yeah. It's really it's, impressed. It's lovely. Yeah. And the 20, yeah, the, the 24 year was stunning. Mm. But, uh, yeah, that's about the year that, I had, but it was in 1998. So it, you know, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't, it was a little, yeah. wasn't it was old. A <laughs> it was a little it was younger. Tan. <laughs> yeah, they, and the, and the miracle when we talk about whiskey, and I, I've used this line before, is like the, what's amazing is that Macallan Twelve tastes like Macallan Twelve every year. Yeah. How do you do that? It's blended, right, and that's right? yeah. it, it's the combining of barrels. Remember yeah. that the Twelve means that's the youngest thing in the bottle. Right. right. There may be olders to get to the quote unquote flavor profile they're trying to get to, and for the most part, barley has been stabilized they tend to only use one particular species of barley they have yeah, very specific uh characteristics to it it's only when you get into the malting and the gristing phases which again we could talk about later that you get a recipe that's specific to a distillery they do make a mccallan 18 cask triple, sure triple cask yeah it's hard to find i might try that someday when i don't have anything to do the next day <laughs>